This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video preview of a test shot of x Transbots Ollie, which is their take on a Masterpiece Wheelie. On the right here we have their refined version that x Transbots is releasing. On the left we've got their original release, the version 1. While this design is an excellent take on a Masterpiece Wheelie, unfortunately through the production process and some other slight design issues, the uh, first release here wasn't all that great. There were sort of diff it was prone to breakages, um, some supposability issues, and just some slight issues that now that x Transbots has kind of come back, they've made an improved version of Ollie here. There's well over 15 improvements um, planned and kind of already implemented here on this test shot. In addition, there's a plan to add uh, die cast to his uh, thighs here, which will make him heavier than the original release. And overall, now we'll be able to get you know a nicer, newer version of uh, a masterpiece wheelie here. And it's a nice chance now that you know most of these are sold out, you'll be able to buy the upgraded version. The figure on the right here is the version two test shot. Um, this plastic is not the final plastic colors, nor is there any paint or additional details, which uh, because this is a test shot. But you can take a look at the one on the left here and kind of get a glimpse of what they might choose to do the deco on the refined version. Um, overall, the plastic quality, and even in this test shot, is a lot more improved. It's stronger. You can see it's actually glossier versus unlike the one on the left that's a more of a matte kind of flat plastic. This one feels a bit brittle when you're transforming it, whereas this one on the right feels a lot more solid. And again, with the different improvements, that this one on the right is going to be a lot, uh, a lot better once it's finally done. Here you can see that overall this uh, Ollie here is a nice looking masterpiece wheelie. It's a very clean version of his Cybertronian kind of car mode. He is fairly tiny and I'll show off kind of size comparisons in a little bit. But you, overall, this is an excellent design, and it's nice that uh, x Transbots has kind of come back around and made a kind of refined version of the design. To give you an example of some of the improvements they've made already, um, one, the one on the right here actually holds together a little bit better than the one on the left. This one seems to fall apart a bit, easy, a bit easier than the one on the right. This seems to be more cohesive. Um, the wheels on this new one actually roll. They've improved it to their roll, whereas the ones on the left, they don't roll at all. They're kind of too tight. They've also fixed how the arms here in the back kind of peg in. Um, they don't on the old one. They kind of just sit up there and let friction kind of be um, held in place. Whereas on the new one, they actually have tiny little pegs to help hold the arms kind of hold into place. So it's, it's improvements like those that kind of really uh, make it so the one on the right here shines. And I'll show off some more as we transform it. So let's go ahead and transform the one on the right to his robot mode. One of the additional accessories that they plan to have for this version of Ollie is that he'll have a second face. But other accessories that he has is he's got a little handgun here, which can be stored on top of the vehicle mode if you'd like. In addition, he does come with his little um, slingshot. It actually hides and stows here on this back flap just with a couple of pegs, and you can hold it. And you have to do that to start transforming him. So we go ahead and take off the uh, slingshot, come to the hands here, and unpeg the front wheels here from the arms that'll free up the legs so we want to come to these little front flaps here fold them down and straighten out the legs take the foot fold the foot out at the same time rotate around this piece here and it'll sit flush against the back of the uh, leg we're gonna come here and there's this new piece here, this little white piece, and this is a new additional heel spur that actually has a little uh, kind of nub there to let you help you know, get a new heel spur um, to help him stand up. And we do that on both sides, so flip out the foot, rotate in the uh, wheel, and then again, grab a hold of that little extra heel spur there. Take this part of the front of the car, rotate it down, and it'll fold inwards. We do that on both sides. This back of his waist here, this flap will fold down to kind of cover his, uh, his rear. Come to the front, make sure that his uh, kind of knees are folded forward. And the way that the thighs are supposed to be set up is that the screw is on the inside so that this panel here kind of fills out his side. And that's his lower torso ready to go. Come to the underside, unpeg the arms from the backpack. Um, again, there's a new little peg here and peg hole that helps hold these securely in car mode versus just friction. We want to take the arms and rotate them down so we can now take the backpack and fold it up. Next, we want to come to these little panels here and these halves will fold in on themselves. 
And this is a huge improvement over the last toy. Um, previously, this part was really scary to fold them in, it was too stiff. In addition, um, the next little bit here where we need to fold them in was very, very uh, stiff on the old toy. So we want to take and get enough clearance so that we can take this piece and fold it back into the underside of the car. We're gonna do that on both sides. Again, that, this is much easier than it was before. Take the arms, rotate them forward on their shoulder hinges, come to the head, get a grip on it, and f feed it through the backpack. And now take the entire backpack on these two hinges and kind of get it onto his back. If we take a look, there's these two tabs on each side of his waist that kind of match where the wheels end up. And what, the, what ends up happening is this backpack can collapse on itself. You see some rails here. And we want to make sure that we just kind of get it started, get this set up, and then with this set of arms kind of higher, the backpack will go ahead and collapse on his midsection. And it's a little bit easier once you actually do this a couple times. And again, this mechanism works much, much easier than it did on the original um, version of Ollie. And this makes sure that it fully collapses. You can see it cleans up pretty nicely. And then this little back flap here will actually go down and hook into his backpack. We come to his hands. We open up a panel here. And yet and again, a new part here is they've added little tabs here for, on the back of the hand to help it easier to flip the hand out. Um, previously, it was you had to use most of the time you had to use a tool. But here we just flip them out with these little kind of tabs that we can get our fingernail through. And get him all set up. And here is the new test shot version of Ali um, version 2, all transformed. Of course, he can hold his weapons. We can take the gun here and just slides into a channel in his hand. And he can wield his gun uh, securely. And, or additionally, you can take his little slingshot and it will also just sit and peg into his hand. And so it's cool that he's got these little weapons that he can hold and he holds them um, quite nicely. So let's go ahead and take a look at some detail for this figure as well as the comparisons with the original version 1 of this toy. So one of the original issues here with Ollie on the left was that he had a hard time standing due to how his kind of stance was. The knee caps here didn't allow him to kind of have a straight leg. He kind of bowed forward. In addition, he didn't really have much heel support past this little piece here where they rectified that on the new version where his knee actually can bend forward a little bit further and straight. So they've, they've fixed that part. In addition, they've added not only that little extra kind of heel spur part, but then this little peg is longer too to kind of help give him extra support. They've also redone how his kind of uh, crotch plate here works. It was kind of standalone and static on the one on the left. And on the new one, there's on a, it's actually on a hinge, so you can move out of the way if you need uh, to pose him. Some additional parts where, again, this top kind of arm mechanism is different between the two. You can kind of see where the one on the right has kind of got an angle to it here, make it easier for him to transform versus the one on the right where it's kind of straight. And overall, the one on the left here is a lot more loose than even the test shot here on, on the right. So they've made quite a number of improvements here um, into this new version. And of course, this does look like an excellent version of Wheelie. The original kind of design is still present. To give you an idea of how they've kind of improved the posability across the two, you can kind of see the neutral poses here is a lot more natural for the one on the right than it is on the left. There's some kind of places where this kind of gets limited due to how things kind of hit each other, how this doesn't move out of the way, and how the knees are kind of knock kneed along with him not having a whole lot of heel support that he knock falls over. Whereas on the one on the right, he's got a lot more motion as far as being able to come out to the side and move forward, bend his knee, that you can get some really nice dynamic poses out of the version two version of Ollie, even in this test shot form. They've, just by making these slight tweaks on that design, they've kind of solved the issues while still letting us have a really cool looking uh, design for Ollie here. As far as posability for him, he does have the great design that the original Ollie had. His head is on a ball joint, as well as a kind of pivoting hinge, so you've got a lot of motion there. His shoulders are on ball joints, as well as a pivot hinge here. Ba bicep swole, he can, bend his elbow 90 degrees, which is actually a little bit further than the original toy. He can rotate his waist. Again, this part is now able to move out of the way if he need to be. His legs seem to be more free as far as not hitting his backpack like they did before. Knees can bend better. You can actually bend them deeper if you move this piece out of the way. He does have basic ankle articulation at the foot as well as his toe can flip in. So he gets a lot of options there. And it's just a really cool looking uh, imposable version of Ollie that once they get the final production for this done, I think solves the issues that were with this original figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, robot mode comparisons for this guy. 
Robo mode comparisons here for Ollie with some other smaller Masterpiece Autobots. Here we've got Masterpiece Bumblebee and Masterpiece Daniel in his exosuit. You can see that Ollie is a nice size and scale compared to Masterpiece Bumblebee here. Um, they look nice here as being robot modes of small mini cars. And I think stylistically, the Ollie from X Transbots looks like what a Masterpiece figure would look like. And definitely an excellent Masterpiece wheelie here in his robot mode. Vehicle mode comparisons. Here you can see that Ollie is slightly smaller and shorter than Bumblebee, but adequately larger than Daniel in his exosuit. And I think they look good uh, side by side here. I think Ollie does a pretty good job of being a mini car um, size masterpiece figure. And I think stylistically he looks uh, nice compared to these other official products. Comparing Wheelie with some Masterpiece Autobots in the Transformers animated movie. Here we've got Hot Rodimus and Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. You can see that Wheelie looks nice and scale-wise here in his robot mode next to these two um, Masterpiece Autobots. I think he's a nice small scale. I think he looks nice next to these guys. Even though they're larger, I think, you know, being the child version of an Autobot and kind of a miniature version of the Wheelie character here, I think Ollie looks great amongst these other uh, movie Autobots in the robot modes. And vehicle comparisons for the Masterpiece movie Autobots. Here, I think Wheelie from X Transbots here is a nice scale in car mode. I think he works well as a smaller car compared to Hot Rodimus, but still adequate to the size for Hot Rodimus. And of course, he looks nice next to Ultra Magnus as well. And I think, again, X Transbots has done a pretty good job of making us a really cool looking Masterpiece Wheelie. Some final thoughts here on X Transbots Ollie, uh, their version 2 release of their Masterpiece Wheelie. I think by X Transbots going back and making the improvements to fix the problems and issues that were on their original version 1 of Ollie really have solved the um, problems and concerns that people had and have made a really, really cool looking and excellent Masterpiece version of Wheelie. And it also gives us a chance to be able to go ahead and pick up this figure for those that missed out on the original version 1 of Ollie. I will note that if you had ordered the original version one of Ollie from the Chosen Prime and you're interested in the version two, um, put in your order number from your original order when you put in your new order for this uh, version of Ollie and the Chosen Prime will go ahead and adjust the price, the time of shipping, half off of the retail price for the version two. So it's an excellent deal. And regardless, this is just an excellent version of Wheelie. Um, x Transbots again has really made um, strides to improve this product and I does come highly recommended. I can't wait for the retail version, so take care.